Joke Vlog. On Amazon Prime Video, I caught Brazil from 1985, directed by Terry Gilliam. This is a high-concept noir satire adventure set in a sort of, uh, I, I don't know how you would describe this, dystopian future steampunk environment where bureaucracy rules the day. You got Jonathan Price as this guy working, uh, just another cog in the wheel. He falls for this chick he sees in passing, Kim Green who may or may not be in The Resistance. The action kicks off when Robert De Niro's Tuttle, I, be I believe that was his name, he he's this uh, sort of terrorist who gets his name mixed up with another guy because there was a stupid error where a fly landed in a typewriter and, and somebody's taken out in this apartment and they're accidentally killed. As Jonathan Price tries to get to the bottom of this, things just get crazier. There's really cool visuals here. You have a lot of dream sequences, that may or may not be a complete waste of time, but hey, they look cool. From Minshry sets to giant sets to flying around, fighting a big samurai, uh, all these weird things that maybe are a little too steep in symbolism. I mean, I get the larger message here about bureaucracy being bad, that maybe we should have simpler times, that having a job that just oversees other people having a job isn't really meaningful. I'd also like to point out how in a very weird way, this could have inspired the Super Mario Brothers movie? Hear me out. Bob Hoskins is in this film, and he plays a guy that works not as a plumber, but in air conditioning, and has a rather Mario-like costume with a very large cap. However, Robert De Niro sporting that mustache looks more like Mario. You kind of get the two mixed together, and I think you're looking at 1993 Super Mario Brothers. For comedy value, this goes on that Monty Python absurdity. I did like how we have uh, Jonathan Price's mom walking around and she's got like this fancy hat that is a shoe. You know, kind of making that whole a fool and their money is quickly departed without necessarily being too on the nose with it. Why is it called Brazil? There's a Frank Sinatra song that plays once called Brazil. Now that's a pretty lame reason as the movie is not set in Brazil. I mean, I could quite lamely work any song I want into any damn movie in post and now that justifies naming the movie after the song? Look, you're not gonna get a satisfying conclusion out of this. There's a downer ending, which like the aforementioned dream sequences means the more adventurous side of this movie doesn't matter. I don't like this idea of filling up a movie with padded scenes just because you thought it looked cool when you can write it off as, oh, well, it's a dream. Oh, well, he had a lobotomy, so that doesn't even count. Oh, spoilers, the ending sucks. I give Brazil two and a half out of four stars. Okay, so you've made it this far, but are you ready to go further? Are you ready to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and maybe even sign up for my weekly podcast on Patreon? It's only one buck a month.